I will mention this though. It is graphically violent. I mean, you see gore, you will see blood. You What's see it in this movie. Bad? Well, well I was... you're not the one to judge. <laughs> yeah, you're not a good judge of this kind. <laughs> Very true. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, hello. What are you doing with this lighting? Hola. Yeah. I guess we <laughs> There is no lighting. What, well, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> better a little lighting than we no lighting. We look better okay. this way. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're like Gloria Swanson. This, this, is, for dark this is for radio. <laughs> it'll be better when the right, when that window gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> We're uh, doing radio lighting. That's yeah. right. Shall we start again? <laughs> what did they say? You have a face for radio? That's what they say. <laughs> Okay, should we, we start, start again? again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to What the Flicks podcast. This is episode 65. I'm Susan Ayers. Patty Smith. Lon Shima. Jorge Sanchez. Bob Nick Shields. Bob Nick Shields. <laughs> and I don't know where to look. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the camera. It's so <laughs> dark. Follow the finger. <laughs> <laughs> So, our movies today are Cocaine Bear, Code 8. You're right, I can't see. Code 8. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can turn that one up. You can turn that one up. Close to the Mouth of Madness. You can flick yeah. that one. You, want, you can flick that one. They split the switch. You mean to turn Me? the lights over here? If you want, yeah. Somebody. You, you, you want to put the switch on? So you can see. This lighting is the worst. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hurry up and bring it so we can better. turn it off. Turn it back into the dark. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're recording all this, by the way, aren't we? Crazy, stupid love. This is for our Patreons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, okay. it's, hello we God. We have a lot God. of fun here. Oh, God. Hello, God. God. It's Margaret. There's just too much readiness going on here. Frivolity. Oh, yeah, frivolity. Yeah, okay. because the name of the movie is not Hello, God, it's Margaret. Are you there, God? Yes, it is. It's no, me, it's, Margaret. Are you, there, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. No, it's, it's the name of the it's movie. Me, it's me, Margaret. No, it's. Are me. you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Yes. Well, whatever. We know what the movie is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But there's oh, another movie like that. I, I was going to. Are you there, Margaret? It's me, Margaret. Are, are you there, God? Are you there, God, Margaret? Margaret put it yeah. together. <laughs> are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was going to. Are you there, Margaret? It's me, God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay if your name isn't Margaret yeah. to watch this movie. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. So, we're, the first movie is. Lon, right? Yes, and I picked Cocaine Bear for some crazy reason, and it no, was directed so, yeah. by well, Elizabeth it's so Banks. Not like you, <laughs> and written by uh, Jimmy Warden. So we'll watch a trailer. You, you left out in the mouth of madness, by the way, when you were seeing the movie. For the what? Time. You left out in the mouth of madness. No, she oh. said it, didn't you? No. Close to the mouth of madness. Oh, I thought you said it. I thought she said it too. Yes. Yeah. Medic. Oh Jesus. That's what I get to. Hurt my arm. What my neck. is that? <laughs> Millions of dollars worth of cocaine fell from the sky this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's more of this out there. They dumped it somewhere. I'm looking for my daughter's forest is a dangerous Fidelity. place. Hey, Harry. Check it out. Felicity. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Harry Russell, you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know her name. I just think of her as Felicity. Oh, She's got it. her hair cut. That's what was nice. I was telling Bob. It's nice to see Rachel McAdams again. It's nice to see Harry Russell. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. People like you, Let's see what kind of effect that has on us. Well, we mothers. mothers. <laughs> The bear. It and fucking Daniels. did cocaine. <laughs> this is just a great song. <laughs> a bear did cocaine. There was a bear. A bear? It was far. Hey, that's inappropriate. Oh, this must be the red bear. <laughs> You're safe. Bears can't climb trees. Of course I can. <gasps> Huh? Hiya, baby. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Chicken. Oh, what's that? The guy is the modern family. Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Apex Predator. 
High on cocaine. Ah! Out of its mind. No! Oh! oh man, you fucked. What the fuck is wrong with that bear? Shoot it! Bam, speeder! Yeah, Tormund. Do you recognize him? Look in nature. Nature. <laughs> that was him, really? That's I it. thought it was him, but I thought it couldn't be him. I think you mentioned <laughs> that. That wilding, yeah. 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 Is that that wilding from Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, in my opinion, the trailer gives you all the funny moments, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure it is to sell. The trailer is the only reason I want to see this movie. I just saw that and said, okay, I'm going to probably like this. Um, I was actually surprised Elizabeth Banks uh, yeah. chose this to direct for her some first, reason. Her first. No, no, no she did no. pitch perfect movies and things. She's, yeah. she's done a couple of movies. Who's the director? Elizabeth uh, Banks. Elizabeth Banks. Really? Yeah. And I've liked her as an From actress. King Kong? <laughs> no, that's Naomi Watts. Wait, oh, Hunger, Hunger Watts. Games. Okay. Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was yeah. going to say that, but I was going to say, yeah, she... To me, she sort of steals movies. Yeah, and she's she has these little parts, like even in that forty-year-old uh, virgin, right? Oh, yeah, but she's great. Um, <laughs> I have to admit, uh, I didn't think this was a really a funny movie. Like I said, the trailer has literally the funny parts. I just thought it was a fun movie. Once it starts, okay, it's like what's going to happen is these. Uh, <laughs> of course, what happens is a plane is going down. This guy is high on coke, and he just starts tossing bags out of the plane. <laughs> So what happens then is that the person whose cocaine it belongs to says, no, we need to go and retrieve it if he found that because uh, the police detectives find the man whose parachute, he was so high that <laughs> when he gets off the plane, he knocks himself unconscious <laughs> with a bag of coke. So he lands, they find him, and they realize, oh, okay, they got to find one bag, and Ray Liotta's character, uh, the great late really uh wants all his drugs back so he's going to send his son who has sort of disappeared because he's going through a divorce or a loss of a wife i should say and then uh another sidekick by the name of david who i really like this guy uh o'shea jackson jr i thought he that's the one character i really thought sort of stood out of all the characters that okay he's going to play this cliched gang it's like no it's like this is sort of refreshing to see his character coming in it's ice, ice cube son Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Because he, he was in uh, no, Straight Outta Compton. Uh, he played well, Ice Cube in Straight Outta Compton. That's gonna say he looks exactly <laughs> like him in a way. So yeah, <laughs> and he has that same kind of yeah. manner, right? Mm -hmm. That sort yeah. of tough guy. But there's right. a sense of humor behind that character, I think. right? So anyway, the kids, these two young kids, decide, oh, they're gonna skip school, go off in the park, which of course means that as they're in this forest park, everyone has to now get involved. It's like this mother. Carrie Russell's character. She plays the mother of the young girl. She has to go out and try and find the daughter. Uh, like I said, the druggies are going to be out there. The cops even here when said, oh, you know what? I want to take an, I want to investigate this because the guy landed in their state. So now he has to go to another state. Georgia is where it takes place. But and you saw that is based on the true story. Yeah. And it's like, no, it, the event is about Pablo Escobar, as they called him. <laughs> <laughs> so everything is more or less fictional you're going to see in this story. But I had to admit, I, I was not bored. I just sort of went along with everything. I thought things were fun. But, you know, again, I thought the performances are what sort of stand out in this movie. Surprisingly good. I mean, of everyone. I mean, I buy the two kids, for example. And the funny thing is I had no, you know, everything's. It's two kids taking, skipping school to have fun. You know, there's no hanky pink or anything like that. No, they just want to go and see this waterfall, apparently. The mother sort of knows that she had this obsession with the waterfall. So she figures, oh, they'll go there. But then, um, of course, the uh, local sheriff has to get involved. Uh, or I'm assuming, actually, she's a park ranger. I take it back. Oh, yeah. uh, Margot Margo Martindale. Martindale. Yeah. So uh, she's, she's great. Oh, she. And like you saw that, uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Oh, I love he's her. like the uh, wildlife, I guess. I don't know if he's an activist or if he's he's just making sure that all the bears are taken care yeah. of, that no, not, no animals are abused in the forest, right. which I think is hilarious. <laughs> uh, he plays sort of a fun character. And then, of course, Ray Liotta, uh, like I said, 
such a great, you know, <laughs> he's playing a mafia boss or a drug dealer. So he fits right in. And um, all I can say is I don't want to say too much because I think the trailer says it all. You saw the trailer. I just know that one point that is something is going to happen to the bear. You just sort of realize that. And my thing is when you watch the movie, it's like, okay. Because I must admit, I did sort of enjoy how everything was tied up at the end as well. I will mention this, though. It is graphically violent. I mean, you see gore. You will see blood. You What's see it in this movie. Bad? Well, well I was... you're not the one to judge. <laughs> yeah, you, you're not a good judge of this kind. <laughs> Very true. Very true. <laughs> but anyway, it, it is a movie I'd recommend, but I, I didn't think it was a great movie. Like I said, it's not really funny, funny. It's just a fun little movie, I thought. And it was only like 95 minutes, which I thought was a blessing to watch a movie like that. And, and a I, record for you, Lon. I could that. actually sit down and watch the whole thing without walking away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, like you said, you last than the last time, you can take the kids. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I, I thought, first of all, I, I, I never thought I would see this movie just by the title and it, and something, it looked like a really slapsticky, kind of ridiculous. And I was thinking, uh, how did Kerry Russell, Ray Liotta, and O'Shea Jackson, you know, sign out to do this movie when they read the script. But I'm, as I'm watching it, actually, it was entertaining. It was, it was way better than I expected. It kind of reminded me of a combination of Cujo and maybe... Friday, Friday the thirteenth, because they're in a camp <laughs> and they're getting killed by something. Like in this, it was, I thought it was kind of like Kujo. So it was, as, well, I thought it was very gory too. I mean, there's some like you see intestines, you see, like that's you. you see, it, it kind of reminded me of those Scandinavian movies too, like uh, the Trip. Yes, yes, or yes, Rise exactly. of Justice, yeah. mm -hmm. where the gore and, and and I would say they even surprised them in the gore. Actually, it was going, it, it was going. Uh, uh, trauma films level of course. <laughs> exactly yes you know, I agree the Toxic <laughs> Avenger so but yeah I, I actually it's funny they, they, I thought they, it was well done the way they put all the different characters together and uh, yeah and also I was thinking I really like that I really like that the the color of the movie that I don't know that, that, that way it was shot I like the the the, so the, the, the contrast the color of it oh. you know it's just it was very colorful maybe it was the TV we were watching that, but it was very colorful <laughs> yeah. you know? Okay, um, I was entertained by this movie. Um, I would say that pretty much everybody did it because Elizabeth Banks was directing it. And clearly there are times where she should have directed more. She was, she was giving the actors their head and they would go in. So there was just a lot of extraneous improv type stuff and people coming up with bits. The actual thing that happened was Yes, the, the cocaine did land in the woods. A bear ate it and died of a heart attack six hours later. So I don't think this uh, fairly treats that poor bear. <laughs> that, that, that unsuspecting, innocent animal, just something came out of the sky and he ate it and died. But so, not in this movie. Not in, not in this movie. That's what I'm saying. inspired by Not in this movie. He has to die a brutal death in this movie. And it was like, you know, I, there's, there's so many interesting actors in there. And I, and I think that that has a lot to do with it. Like, there's two actors with uh, very unfortunately similar names. One of them is Alden Ehrenreich and the other one's Ansel Elgort. And Alden Ehrenreich, who plays the young guy in this one, is a very good actor. He's been in, uh, he was in uh, Hail Caesar. I See, think. I wasn't familiar with him. He yeah. played the dumb cowboy actor in Hail Caesar. Oh, okay. And he's, I mean, he's a very good actor. Actually, so is Ansel Elgort. But uh, this one, he was lost in a shuffle of people who didn't, feel to me like they were in control of what they were doing. Actually, I think the most disciplined performance in this was Carrie Russell. And I thought that she, I, I, she was the one person I said, I don't want the bear to kill her. You can have the kids, you can have it, but not her. She's, you know, she's a mom. She's out there doing a thing and like for to come up with a fiction based on this thing and then just make it like, oh, let's kill everybody. I didn't want her to die. So the movie got to me more than I expected it to. I, when I first, Saw the uh, you know like the uh, the uh, that they were doing a movie called Cocaine Bear. I thought that's kind of a funny idea, Elizabeth Banks. That'd be interesting to see what she does. I was disappointed on that level, but it is as has been said, it's a very entertaining movie if you're prepared for a lot of a lot of what's the word I want um, gratuitous gratuitous violence. Yeah, there's wow. a, yeah, there's like. I mean, like when one of the characters die, dies by being dragged across the ground, you have to see like kind of a close up of her face mm -hmm. being ripped off and all that. And it's just, uh, 
it was too much, but it was uh, it was more entertaining than it had any right to be. <laughs> well, I, I agree, though. This was one movie I was not looking forward to seeing. It was kind of like, OK, because because the story is kind of sad. The real story, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the bear dies and everything like that. So I went into it thinking I don't want to see it, you know, OK, but I have to see it. So I watched it. And actually, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was like way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, the it was really funny. There was like um, the, because it's all CGI, the 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 gore and the guts and the legs getting chopped, <laughs> eaten off, and everything like that. It it doesn't really look real to me. You know oh, you know, I, mean? I, actually thought, I forgot to mention that, too. I actually thought they did a really good job with the CGI. <laughs> At times, I go, is that a real bear? I mean, this game is so sophisticated with that. No, I meant um, the, the bear was pretty good. But yeah. the, um, the, but gore? the, the gore was, oh. I, I, it, yeah. you know, it was like, okay. But so, yeah, I actually uh, enjoyed this movie. There was so many little throwout lines. Uh, the lady that was the ranger, what is the actress? Margot Martindale. Martindale. She was hilarious. She is. She is such she, a good actress. She was hilarious. And she just said a funny, a bunch of things that were funny. But, you know, sometimes in funny movies, they, you know, it's the line. But she just said kind of under her breath stuff that was so funny. So um, I really liked her. Um, there was, if I have a criticism, but these things you're not supposed to actually take for real. So, mm -hmm. but let's just say the one person that the bear doesn't eat <laughs> and takes to spoiler the alert <laughs> is actually the person you're rooting for. So, um, other than that, I, I think it's really good. I think you'd like the movie. I think it's very funny. That's what I can mm. say. This reminded me of. Uh... I wanted to see this just because I thought it was such a weird concept. <laughs> but it reminded me of Hoedown. Remember the half hour show, Hoedown? No. no. <laughs> a lot of hips. <laughs> you guys have watched like it. dresses with jeans. I don't remember was that. Was this a Canadian yeah. show? Maybe? No, no, no. It, it, was, it was done from Nashville. And it was very. Well, there you go. <laughs> and it was, was like a bunch of hicks. It's like a bunch of hicks, but it's <laughs> like. Uh, you know, singing and dancing. That's what it reminded me of. Like a B kind of movie that you're right. You don't Definitely like. Definitely B. But sometimes Bs are the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm with you 100% yes. on yeah. that. <clears throat> but I just found it entertaining, slightly boring, because how many people can you kill? I didn't find it yeah. gory at all. I mean. Yeah. I agree with you because. It, it doesn't seem real. It doesn't you know seem what real. I mean? It, mm -hmm. No. No, they show a real leg being cut off that we're talking. <laughs> so yeah, it's pleasant. It's pleasant to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Only you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, everybody, um, George, you want to? Yeah, you know, I, yeah, I did enjoy it actually. I was m way more than I expected, so I give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven too. Mm -hmm. I actually liked it a lot too. Wow. I thought it would be like, oh god. I, I don't right? rate. I know. Oh, you don't wait. Okay. <laughs> I gave it a six. Yeah, I gave it a five. Okay. And it's his movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay. So we're going to be so back, we'll be right? Back. No favoritism there. <laughs> What's the next one? They should have called it Pablo Escobar. Code eight. <laughs> I like that. I had yeah, never heard that. That's, That's funny. funny.